Dr. Lal, Pat Labs and Metropolis are both under pressure as well this morning. Uh, there was some cautious brokerage commentary. We had a chance to speak to the Dr. Lal management who wasn't too concerned, but nevertheless, the stock is under pressure. Ekta is here with more on that. Ekta. Thanks for that. Well, you know, if you really did see the PNL and what they reported, uh, it wasn't too bad a set of numbers. It was, yes, a revenue slowdown, but there was a margin improvement, which uh, the street was fearing last quarter. So the Dr. Lal's margins improved to around 26.9% versus 23.4% on a Q1Q basis. Remember, same time last year, we had COVID contributions, so it's not really comparable. And for Metropolis also, while the margins came off year on year, on a Q1Q basis, there was an improvement which took place. Also, the non on COVID-19 revenue, which is basically what we need to look at now, considering that's the base business and COVID-19 is barely a contributor anymore. Both, uh, both companies reported an improvement in the non-COVID-19 revenue, albeit which was aided by their recent acquisitions such as Suburban and High Tech respectively. So for Dr. Lars, non-COVID-19 revenue was up 15% year on year. It was up 7% on a Q1Q basis. Metropolis reported some of the highest quarterly revenue when it came to non-COVID revenue, which was up around 16% on a year on year basis. But what the street is fearing and this reason why you're seeing the stocks correct is the fear of competitive intensity going forward, something both the managements alluded to in their conference call. So going forward with this comp uh, competitive intensity, what we could see is that patient volumes could probably reduce to single digits, margins could be shaved off because of higher promotion expenditure going forward for companies as routine test prices are weighed down. Now, brokerages are cautious on the likes of Dr. Lal's Credit Suisse, Nomura, Morgan Stanley, Antique, all of them have an underperform or a sell call or uh, an equal weight. Morgan Stanley has an equal weight uh, on that uh, on uh, Dr. Lal's. And the other factor is that with EPS estimates probably being shaved off on account of higher competition in the industry, we do have valuations which will probably come off as well. So you can see that take place. For example, Dr. Lal's is trading on a one year forward basis at around 60 times. Uh, Metropolis at around over 40 odd times. So the street is probably going to, uh, you know, shave off a couple of uh, EPS estimates and that is going to weigh on the hefty valuations that these companies trade at in any case. Ikta, thank you very much for that complete picture. On that note,